The twin-engine deck-based fighter might face further delays, as the Cabinet Committee on Security Clearance for the AMCA fifth-generation program will take precedence. The CCS clearance for the AMCA program is likely to be granted by September. That will potentially cause a ripple effect on the TED-BF program, and pushing the CCS clearance for TED-BF until mid-2024. This delay could have an impact on the rollout plans, and the first flight can be delayed from 2026 by an additional 12 to 18 months. The DRDO and the Indian Air Force have agreed to revise their approach for the development of the next generation close combat missile, potentially leading to an extended timeline for its completion. The decision was made to develop the NGCCM from scratch, instead of incorporating an infrared homing seeker onto an existing airframe, which was initially planned as a temporary solution using the Astra Mark I airframe. The NGCCM will have a range of 50 km with a focus on improved performance in short-range engagements, that will be equipped on Tejas Mark I-A Tejas Mark II and Su-30 fleet, and also equipped an internal weapons base of unmanned loyal wingman aircraft and the AMCA in the near future. The DRDO chief met with the CEO of Safran Engines yesterday at a facility where crucial components of the M88 engine are manufactured, and discussions focused on the co-development of a new engine to power India's AMCA. Safran has offered to design and develop a completely clean-sheet high-thrust engine, with clear division of work and full transfer of technology. French engine manufacturer Safran is actively seeking a partnership with the Indian private sector company for the development of new high-thrust engines, that will possess the capability to scale up to 130 kN, to meet the requirements of future Indian manned and unmanned platforms in the era of sixth-generation platforms. The technology director at the Aeronautical Development Agency has said, that with the deal on the joint production of F-414 engines being finalized between India and the US, the first test flight of the Tejas Mark II is expected to take place in 2025. Initial projections are that about 200 Tejas Mark II variants would be manufactured for the Indian Air Force, and with the locally manufactured engine radar and weapons, the indigenous content of the Tejas Mark II variant will go up to 90%. The DRDO showcased capabilities of the TAPAS unmanned aerial vehicle to a tri-services team for the first time on 27 June, during which it successfully completed its 200th flight. The DRDO has said, that the crucial phase of user evaluation trials is set to commence shortly, that will allow the Indian Armed Forces to thoroughly assess the TAPA's UAV's capabilities in real-world scenarios. Sweden's Saab Group has offered its Sea Wasp Advanced Remotely Operated Vehicle to India, for underwater explosive ordnance disposal. It is equipped with video cameras, LED lights and a wideband sonar, which enables it to locate underwater explosive devices. Once identified, the ROV utilizes its five-function manipulator arm to position its tools near the target for safe detonation. Kurt Campbell, the deputy assistant to the US president has said, that under the right circumstances, all three AUKUS nations are ready to join forces with other partners who possess the capacity to rise to the challenge. Countries like New Zealand, South Korea and France have shown keen interest, however, the interested nations would need to demonstrate their ability to make substantial contributions.